Hello everyone, in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about how to construct phylogenetic tree uh, using mega molecular evol evolutionary and genetic analysis or simply mega 11 software. Okay, so this software is available freely online, the link for the which has been given in the description. So you can download this software uh, from the link in the description and use it for your phylogenetic analysis. Uh, this is very simple to use software, I will show you how to use it. Okay, so here I have already opened my Mega uh, soft, Mega 11 software. You just need to go to the software and just open it. This is and uh, nothing difficult. Okay, so what you need to do to perform the phylogenetic analysis using this software is that first you need to create the alignment. Okay, this is really important. So what you will do, you will create alignment. So to create alignment, you have to click here in the align, right? Then you will click on edit or build alignment okay so after that it gives you several options option one is create a new alignment option two open a saved alignment se session or retrieve a sequence from a file because i don't have a saved alignment session or a, a retrieve sequence from a file so i'm just going to create a new alignment to show you how to create the alignment okay so i'm just going to press on create create a new alignment and i'll hit okay Right, so then it asks you if we are going to build this alignment from a DNA sequences or from the protein or amino acid sequences, right? Because today I'm, I'm performing the phylogenetic analysis using amino acid sequences, which are the sequences for the protein. So I'm just going to click on protein, okay? So now, after you do this process, then, you know, this window appears, okay? This, this window appears. Then what you need to do then? You can simply open, you can simply, oh, you can, what you need to do is that you can simply go to your old file and you can simply paste your data, okay? So, because I have already copied my data from the word file and this data has to be in the faster format, okay? You just keep your data in the faster format and I'm just going to paste it because I already had copied my data from the word file, I just pasted my data, okay? It's just that you need to have this data in the a faster format and I'm just gonna get rid of this sequence one because here I don't have anything so I will just delete this one okay so now this so this now I have my data okay so now I have my data this is ACE2 protein from different organisms from mouse monkey bat chimpanzee so how, how did I how this how did this data come here from my word file I just copied my data and I just pasted it you just you just need to press ctrl C and ctrl V that's it and to delete the extra sequence, just delete that one by a click by doing the right click. Okay, right. So now my a uh, protein sequences are in the Mega Seven software, Mega Eleven software. Sorry. So then, what uh, what I need to do now? So I need to perform alignment. So then, to do that, either you can directly go here in this align using Marshall algorithm, or you can go to alignment, and it gives you option. For example, if you want to align your sequences using Clustal W or align by using muscle okay so because i'm going to align my sequences using muscle because this is most commonly used in our laboratory so i'm just gonna select align by muscle okay so nothing selected because i did not select anything so the program is asking uh, select all yes then i'm gonna press okay and then it will select all the sequences and perform alignment on all the sequences right so after this then it asked me because I press OK, it asks me, you know, what kind of penalty should I make? A gap open, gap extended, high hydrophobicity, and all these different parameters. If you want, you can adjust this. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to give everything default. So I'll just hit OK. Right. So now the sequence alignment has been performed using muscle in my ACE2 protein sequences from different organisms. So what I will do now then? I'm just going to go to data. This is really important, guys. This is really, really important. Go to data. And after that, you need to export your alignment and then go to export alignment in the mega format because we are using mega software. That's why we have to export our alignment in mega format. Okay. So what you need to do after you perform your alignment, go to data and then go to export alignment and to the mega format. Okay. And I'm just going to click here and then I will save my file so i will save it as let's say that uh, uh phylogeny 
test okay i'm just gonna make it as file as any test okay this is the name of my uh, alignment file so it's it will be it will be said as uh, saved exported as mega files and i'm just gonna hit okay save and info data data name you can give anything i'm just giving ace yeah ace okay whatever ace2 two, two right so now the alignment has been performed our goal is to perform the phylogenetic analysis not only the alignment so i'm just going to get rid of this this window I, I i can just close it and now i'm in the main window right so what i have to do then now as you can see here you know there are different options you can see the phylogeny here because the sequence alignment has already been created so now i have to go to phylogeny right so i'll just go to phylogeny and then it gives me different options whichever options i want to uh, create my phylogeny tree using so for example this is one statistical method uh, construct maximum likelihood tree or neighbor joining tree or minimum evolution tree uh, test up up zma tree there are several uh, options to create your phylogeny tree for the purpose of demonstration i'm just going to create phylogeny tree using neighbor joining method okay using neighbor joining method but uh, you can decide on which method suits best for your analysis and create your tree accordingly i have seen a lot of literature using maximum likelihood tree it's really up to your 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 experiment and your analysis okay so for, for today we are going to use neighbor joining tree i'm just gonna hit okay right so it asks me would you like to use currently active data so i'm just gonna press no and then you can uh, would you like to create uh, would you like to create one i'm just going to hit no so i because i want to create files uh, i you know do you remember the, what is the name of the sequence that i saved it was phylogeny it was phylogeny ace phylogeny ace 2 2 yeah this was my data oh no it doesn't say that okay let me just uh, try it what what name i saved so i'm just going to go here and construct neighbor joining tree and yeah phylos and ese oh it was like this this is the last file that i saved right so i'm just gonna hit open because this is the sequence alignment that i saved you know i saved it as this name so i will just press open okay so now it has opened my sequence alignment okay in the program so what then i need to do really important guys this all the other parameters i'm going to keep it as usual but the phylogeny test is really really important so here i have in the program you can already see bootstrap method has already been selected but if you are using the program for the first time then you might not see this option so then what do you need to do what do you need to do you can go here and see you know interior branch test bootstrap method or none so i you need to select this bootstrap method so what is this bootstrap value the boots about which i'll also describe later but this simply gives the confidence in the branches created okay this will assign certain this number and what is the number of replications that you have to keep is the higher the better but i have seen the publication if using even 1000 bootstrap value i would recommend that but for the for the purpose of demonstration today i will keep 100 okay this number you can say you can type in whatever you want but i will just keep it as 100 okay so after that that then i'm just gonna press ok yes now that it, it, it was creating tree now the tree has been created as you can see that uh, from this tree you know the, the 100 because i use 100 bootstrap value and you see that we we uh, here in this north 100 is the number so what does it mean actually is that if you repeat using the same data using another program the confidence of getting these brands this not these ace2 and human ace2 and ac to chimpanzee that is actually 100 times out of 100 times 100 times is possible whereas getting this brands is out of 100 times 74 times possible so we are confident so the bootstrap value the higher the bootstrap value the better it is so it's it's really important to uh, to have the confidence in the nodes created okay so it's really important concept guys so you need to you can always keep your uh, not always but you can keep your bootstrap value is 100 or it's 1000 as in 1000 is what i would recommend and it this is the original tree but if you click here then it will show bootstrap consensus tree and this is our bootstrap consensus tree and this is the 
node in, in this node we have only 74 percent bootstrap 74 is the bootstrap value so out of 100 times 74 times we will get this branching so and for this there is a, out of 100 times 100 times we will get this branching so the tree has now been created and what is the utility of this phylogenetic analysis for example we see that okay here in this node this ac to monkey chimpanzee and human they are lying in one clade okay in this clade okay or if you take it from here okay this is one clade but you can also call this one as one clade yeah so what it indicates is that the function of ace2 in human and in chimpanzee and also in monkey might be same might be similar okay because we have very high confidence in woods value and they are clustering together okay so this is the significance so from the phylogenetic tree, you can not only uh, do the evolutionary analysis, but you can also get the idea about the, what the function of the, pro the, the protein in you know, different species can be. And if you know what is the function in human, let's say, the, the, of this protein ACE2, then you can get the idea of what its function could be in chimpanzee and also in monkey, right? So uh, this is how we create phylogenetic tree, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, thank you very much um, for your support. Uh, thank you.